We begin in the heavyweight division and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. If fighters, you know the rules. I want to clear the fair fight. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself at all time, okay? Touch gloves. Take a step back. France versus Morocco, heavyweight division. Good way to open the car. Yep, seeing Kahab with all this attention from the Moroccans. Time. Amazing. Fight. Sounds a little bit like a soccer match in here right now. Big support for the big tank, Kahab, who's wearing the white gloves. I do need this that movement in boxing style, so watch him try to circle outside. But it's going to be tough to move against Kahab's pressure. Ooh. Straight left, he's got the southpaw stance. Yeah, he's going to try to create angles with that footwork. Circle, circle, try to split the guard. That's why Kahab needs to use this calculated pressure, slowly work his way in, cut the ring off. Both of these men with plenty of experience. Step back. Step back, step back. Laduni, 28 years old, Kahab, 22. Break. Definitely a lot of good attention and hype behind Kahab. Very impressive the way he fights in his style. I tell you what, right now, Laduni's doing what he needs to do. Yeah, he's got to fight moving backwards. He's got to try to stay off these ropes, but he's counter punching. Kahab's going to pressure forward. So he knows Laiduni's gonna have to create angles and circle. Nice knee to the body, and there's a lot of body to knee. Straight left again, that may be his strike. Yep, I liked how Laiduni kind of used his strikes to circle out of the corner. He used like a check hook, circled out. He can't stay against the ropes, but when he does, he's got a fire like that. He's being first. Boy, the tank is just absorbing some heavy kicks. Yeah. Locks in to just bang it out. Let's go. Yeah, in the heavyweight division, Joe, sometimes it's not about how hard you can hit. Sometimes it's about how hard you can get hit. Yeah, can he manage this pace? These guys are bringing a, a lightweight pace here tonight. Nice head movement Break. from Laiduni. Step back, step back. Yeah, Laiduni says his English boxing is his best. He says he's got good vision and good mobility, which is on showcase tonight. Yeah, Kahab just can't find the, the target like he did in his last fight. Good defense by Laiduni. Yeah, Laiduni's got a nice sharp left straight that he keeps landing. But Kahab keeps walking forward, eating it and pressuring. Ooh. Tanks whipping bombs now. Deep breath from the tank. He does have a pretty good motor, at least judging from his first performance on Glory. Yeah, and he was even saying he wasn't Ray, even impressed back, with his back, debut. He wanted more low kicks, more body shots, the SB Gym style. Good uppercut there from Kahab, but it's a very nice opening round for the Frenchman, Sophie Laiduni. Yeah, Nabil Kahab currently ranked number nine in the heavyweight division, the tank. And that's definitely on display tonight, the way he pressures you forward, looking for those big shots. His signature strike, the low kicks behind those power punches. But I know the SBG, SB gym style, they want body shots mixed with those. That's for Sofian Laiduni. He's the reigning WAKO Pro World Champion, the lower level of kickboxing, but former French national champion, and as Joe mentioned, he loves to box. Black, white, come on. Black corner. Round two. Be interested to see if all five judges gave that first round to the Frenchman as Tank comes out hot. Step back, step back, step back. One judge gave the first round to Kahab, the other ones to Laduni. Yeah, Laduni's just a little bit more effective, circling, hitting, moving backwards. 
Fahad is pressuring well, but the backwards fighting, I think, is just doing a slightly better. Walking Kahab into his left straight, yeah. using hooks to circle out. Nice pressure in the corner from Kahab, but Laiduni fighting well off the ropes. 74 landed strikes for the Frenchman, 44 for Kahab. Oh. But he's starting to heat up, it looks like. Yeah. Kahab found a good right hand in that exchange. But Laiduni doesn't just sit against the rope and stay shelled up. He's looking to counter. He's looking to spank. Good chin, though, from Kahab. Man, I love being so close to heavyweight kickboxing. Hearing the sound of those shins, the punches land. Music to my soul. Yeah. And for someone like me who's not a kickboxer, it lets me know very quickly I do not want to be a kickboxer. <laughs> Big bomb, especially with the kicks. Dooney trying to, what we call draw attacking, pulling you in, pulling you in, trying to hit Kahab as he pressures forward. You can see the ring control from Kahab. Cutting the ring off well, but just not landing the best of the combinations right now. Yeah, he really hasn't lit Lydoni up yet. With a clean, big strike. Is this sort of, obviously these are heavyweights, but is this sort of the style that Petch is going to have to fight? Fight going backwards? Well, I think Tajani might want to oh, fight. Excuse me, yes, Tajani, who's the taller taller fighter like Aduni is. Yeah, I think backing, fighting and boxing backwards is a big key. As they press forward, backstep jabbing, backstep jab, draw them into the right hand. Use circle motions versus forward pressure. That's why it's intelligent fighting from Laiduni. That's what I call them my keys to glory, self-paw tactics. He's circling around the outside, looking for that left straight. Mixing the body kick. That's what self-paw fighters do, try to create angles with their circle. Stepping outside the lead foot is one of the strategies. Should Kahab be doing a better job cutting the ring off? I think he's doing a good job at cutting the ring off, but he's just not landing the combinations because Laiduni's first, and then he's countering back again. Oh, they're going to slug it out. They both nodded at each other, and Laiduni got the better of it. Yeah, see how Laiduni went first, defended the counter, then came back again. So he's kind of gaining the momentum. Two combos versus one. And that left hook skims off the dome of Laiduni. GloryShop.com is your destination for all the latest Glory merchandising, including signed event posters and the latest sweats, shirts, hats, and more. Go to GloryShop.com. I just got my Tiger sweatshirt today. I, I saw that. I was going to take it from your bag when I saw it. Thank you. And so the, the story of this fight, Kahab needs to pressure, try to use his ring control, cut the ring off. And he has some good opportunities here to let his combinations go. But Laiduni seems to be first and then countering back, never just sitting there, circling off the ropes well, drawing Kahab in. Very interesting fight so far for me to see. Well, Kahab is not a knockout artist, only four KOs in his 25 wins, but he may very well need one here in the third. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the effective backwards fighting of uh, Lydoni is, in my eyes, just edging this fight. Fight! Round three. Fight! That's a lot of hugging. Lydoni's like, hey, I just killed six seconds. <laughs> I'm good with that. And again, four judges have that round for Lydoni. So Kahab needs a knockdown. Whoa! Oh, he caught the tank coming in. Yeah, that was a little angle. Perfect timing. Back, step back, step back, step back. Boy, how did he stand up from that one? Just as the tank opened up the throw, he beat him to the punch. Break. Boy, Sophie and Lidoni is spoiling the party. Look at his angles against the rope. Fakes left, goes right, left, right. Like, he just doesn't sit there. He's mixing up his, his angles when he turns. Being unpredictable, he'll circle outside. Then you'll see him cut the other way as well. 
Step back, step back, step back, step back. Very Fight. good intelligent movement from Laiduni. Just missing again with the left hook. He just can't get the distance right. Yep. Just slightly off. Obviously, the best time for Kahab to throw is when Laidoni's against the ropes because he can't slide out or move out of those shots. So this is where when he's got to go upstairs, downstairs, and then chop the legs a little bit more. I know it's the southpaw takes away the low kick, but I think Kahab mixing in some inside kicks. The back leg could be something for him. He's got to dig deep, does Kahab. Yeah, he's getting a little predictable with the boxing combinations. Cross to the body, hook to the head. We haven't seen much kicks off of that. Break! Next one, next one. Step through, step back. Why, Doni looks like he's having fun in there, too. Oh, yeah, he's got these little smiles every so often, little smirk. Yeah, and yesterday, Kahab went nose to nose with him, forehead to forehead during the stare down after the weigh in. See that little movement? Break. Little step jab, through. uppercut, circles outside with a nice and little check. Not only is it great technique, Joe, but it shows you how in shape he is to be able to keep moving like this. And how efficient he is with his strikes. Not everything is power punch. When you see Kahab throw, everything is with full power. Where Laiduni sets you up, touches you, then he waits for that opportunity to sit on his punches. So that's where you see the big experience when it comes to boxing itself. This is kickboxing, though, where pressure fighting and aggression pays off. Yeah. And you wonder if Kahab could go back and fight this fight again. Would he, would he have invested more in the low kicks to try and slow down the movement Stop. of Lydoni? Excellent debut from the Frenchman. Does he get the decision? We will find out when we return to Glory 84. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. Kahab needed to pressure, get on the inside to let his power combinations go. But Laiduni, just very good with his movement, his boxing, his ability to kind of hit and move, circle out of the corners. He just did a better job at fighting backwards, drawing Kahab into his left straight. Good circle, but Kahab controlled the ring. But Laiduni, hit and move, circle, angle, created angles, almost got a knockdown there. But great activity, the way he controlled his shots, set things up. You need to remember, he is the older fighter. Kahab is 22 years old, so I'm sure he's learning as he goes. Final strike count statistics. Kicks and knees belong to the Frenchman. Even punches, he landed more punches as well. Kahab, 92 of 153, but total strikes, doubling the output nearly, was the dino. Strikes per round. Kahab, 13 in the third. He slowed down every single round, whereas the Frenchman kept it pretty steady. Let's see what the judges had to say. Here is Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals from our five ringside judges. Two judges score the bout 29-28. The three remaining judges have it 30 27, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Sophia Laduni!
judges got it right. I know the crowd's not happy, but you saw the strike count numbers. They weren't even in the same ballpark. Yeah, and I just think the better shots were landed, the more effective. I know every time when there's close fights, exchanges are going to be upset, but I do think the right winner is done here tonight.